Falcon? It's a Fresno Falcon noise. Yeah. <laughs> what is that noise, too? Did you that's, just hear that? That's the sound of a Fresno Falcon. Oh, yeah. we're doing sound effects, hearing too, things. Yeah. yeah, there we oh. go. Yeah. The show has it all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, All-Star break. Let's talk about that, Jay. Yes, had the All-Star break for the ECHL and the Salmon Kings. Ash Goldie, goalie Julian Ellis, and head coach Mark Morrison. Already on their way to Stockton, California for all the All-Star festivities. The rest of the fish on a well-deserved break after taking five out of six points against Fresno. All-Star goalie Julian Ellis in all-star form in the matinee meeting, the finale of the three-game set versus Fresno. Ellis did not allow one goal in the first two periods. Solid game by the netminder. Captain Kyle McLeod does the little things that win hockey games, winning the small battles, keeping the puck in. Dylan Yo hits the post. Wes Goldie lights the lamp. A power play marker, 1-0 Victoria after 40 minutes. The Salmon Kings take a two-goal lead in the third thanks to a howitzer from Paul Ballantyne. Great weekend by Ballantyne. Al McKinnis-like, fourth goal in three games. Victoria gets a two-goal cushion. Daryl Lloyd gets hauled down on a partial breakaway, no penalty. Lloyd a tad irritated with that check. Three games and three days against the same team, and you could expect some fisticuffs. And scrappy Lloyd delivering a few shots before the break. Moments later, though, the Falcons break the shutout. As Ellis, who faced 43 shots, cannot stop Daryl Marcoux. Fresno pulling within one, but a neutral zone turnover will be the nail in the coffin. Jordan Kristanovic sets the table nicely for West Goldie's second goal of the afternoon. 25 wins in 40 games at the All-Star break. Here's head coach Mark Morrison on Victoria's blue line. We were under pressure, sustained pressure for certain parts of the game where uh, we spent time in our own end, and that's very tiring. Uh, I think we went, uh, we killed off 10 or 11 power plays in a row in this series or in the last two games, so they did an excellent job. Well, the struggling Canucks take on the Minnesota.